Ever since the CSL DD was revealed back in April, PlayStation fans have been left wondering, myself included, when on earth will the PlayStation version be coming? Well, finally, just hours before Black Friday, it's finally here. Welcome to the Fanatec GT DD Pro, god it's a long name, and now I'm going to talk about all of its cool features and its price range and all the important things that you need to know before considering pre-ordering it tomorrow. Yeah, you guys only have tomorrow to pre-order it. So what is it? Well, this is basically the CSL DD but for PlayStation. Except it has a few different sort of features of it. Whereas the CSL DD cam was originally released just as the base alone, you had to buy the pedals and the wheels yourself, this is it's the first all out sort of set. But this time around, Polyphony Digital has collaborated with Fnatic after they, I think last year they had agreed that they were going to start working together and the Thrustmaster partnership was dead. But basically, what we learned from this is that we're going to be having more Gran Turismo themed, or even as PlayStation themed project, products from Fnatic come in the future. Probably there could be ones that could be more expensive than this new wheel, as well as ones that are cheaper than it. But anyway, this wheel itself is designed by Polyphony themselves, and from a first glance, I I think it's interesting. There is a lot going on, as in, there's like the analog thingies there, I have no idea what they do. But you can tune your setup as you drive along, like the wheel itself, like you can do on other Fanatec wheels. And it's got like a LED light RPM limiter like you see on the Logitech G series wheels. But I don't know if it's the most beautiful looking wheel I've ever seen in my life. I think it's very cluttered, there's a lot going on. But I hear it's about 20 millimeters wider than what you would expect from a Logitech wheel. And other than that, you get included, you get the CSL pedals and you get the clamp stand. So this is like an all out sort of package. You get, you don't have to buy one thing and another thing and all that sort of stuff. It's not a pick and choose. Anyway, let's move on to the pricing. The pricing is an interesting one. The Fnatic GT DD Pro will start at 699 euros and 95 cents, which is way cheaper than 700. This will get you the 5 Newton meter torque version, which comes with the CSL pedals that were released a few months ago, as well as like the wheel clamp stand. So this setup is basically all you need. And that will set you back at 699 euros. However, if you're planning to get one of these for Christmas, like I'm kind of thinking of right now, you will have to fork out an extra 150 euros for it to arrive before Christmas. If you're patient, you can wait till March 2022 and bring have the wheel delivered to you at that price. But at that point, it will be 850 euros by the time you get your wheel purchased, the entry level version of this wheel and delivered to your front door before Christmas. I think it might be worth the extra premium price though. But if you are patient, then that extra 150 euro you can either keep to yourself and spend it on other more important things, or you can upgrade to the eight Newton meters of torque version. This was the version that I was thinking of getting for the CSL DD until I found out it wasn't PlayStation compatible because I play on PC and PlayStation, so this wheel is definitely more suited for me. But if you only play on PC or you play on Xbox, then definitely check out the CSL DD. If you could pre-order one now, it should be here the first week of January. That's what I, the website says. But yeah, I think that might be the wheel I recommend looking into. And then you can use the Black Friday deals to get the cheaper pedals and the cheaper wheel and stuff. So you end up saving money in the long run. However, if you want everything for the CSL DD, the upgraded CSL pedals, the 18 meters of torque, that will set you back 969 euros. So if this wheel starts at 699 euros and it ends at 969 euros. So pick your poison. If you think it's a little too much money, then fair enough. If you, you could probably sell a limb or something and make your money back. Or if you have the money to spend, then you could get the top of the range one. It's entirely up to you guys though. I don't, I'm not your financial manager. I shouldn't be. I'll just tell you not to spend any money. So what all do you get again? Well, you get a Gran Turismo designed wheel, CSL pedals, table clamp, and the five newton meters of torque power brick. From what I've heard about reviews about the CSL DD, the five newton meters of torque version is good, but it isn't as good as the eight newton meters one. I think the eight newton meters of torque one is proven to be a worthy upgrade. 
But saying that now, you could buy the 5 newton meter of, of torque version now, and if you find you're enjoying your wheel, and if you have the extra money to spend over in a few months time, you can just order it online and have it shipped over. And it could definitely be installed later on, which is probably what I would recommend. That's probably what I'm going to do, because I just couldn't see myself spending all this amount of money all at once, because I'm just way too cheap. And this will bring us on to the final question. Will I, or should I, or should you, or will you buy one? Well, I might buy one. Like, I have been, I'll be honest, I have been thinking of upgrading my wheel for the last couple of months. However, I have noticed I'm not playing as much racing games as much as I used to. So I'm thinking it might be a bit of a, like a bad upgrade. But it means I would have to commit more to playing more racing sims. But what I've recently learned from my new job is that when you work from home, sitting on a computer screen all day, the last thing you want to do after work is sit in front of a computer screen all day. So, and maybe it could be a good weekend thing to do, but if it's only going to be good for gaming on the weekends or the occasional weekday when you're playing some games with friends, it does make me wonder that the Logitech does that job very well. If you're a beginner, that's the wheel I'll go for. I'll probably avoid these wheels for now, for the sake of the price. Like it's, I mean, you could definitely pick up a second-hand Logitech wheel for under 200 quid, Maybe even less if you're really lucky. But, well, yeah, like, I'm de I have an alarm <laughs> set up and all that stuff. So when I'm going to be purchasing the wheel, if I decide to go through with it or not, I'm just currently looking at my financial situation. I'm just going to try to see if I can make it work. But as for you, then, well, if you have the money and you want this wheel, then buy it. Like, I can't tell you what to do. It's entirely up to you. If you think you have a good reason or a good purpose to buy this wheel, then work away. That's all I'm going to say. So yeah, um, so what do you think about this wheel anyway? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's the best thing since sliced bread? Or do you think it's an ugly, grotesque, rotten looking thing? You're never going to look at it ever again. Well, just let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for actually watching some of my videos recently. I know Lalum did really good views, especially the ones about Grand Turismo. And if you want to see any more videos like that, then let me know, obviously. Leave a nice little comment. And like 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 that's all i'm gonna say like all the posts even if you didn't even like my videos even if you didn't really like the video that much i just appreciate it if you liked it anyway because it helps me out a lot and you can feel good about yourself for making someone else for helping someone else without actually helping them anyway thank you guys so much for watching hope to see you all guys very very soon